Hi, I'm Ty Turner, certified transgender, here to give you a look into the life of a thriving trans man. Now, by no means am I thriving in all aspects of my life, but I am 10 years into my transition with the hardest parts behind me, feeling content in my gender, and living a life I never thought I could have when I was younger. So I made this little slice of life vlog to show you what that looks like for me. Enjoy. Hey, big guy. Where are you going? <laughs> All right. Good morning. Don't you just love the spring? Coming out of the winter funk, everything's blooming back to life. I'm recovering from a wrist injury in both hands, and I'm finally actually able to use my hands after like two months, and the weather is just lovely. So it's the perfect time to get out and actually start doing some stuff. The fuck is this? They dropping an A-bomb? Is this Hindenburg 2 overhead? Fuck. So yeah, I feel like I've really calmed down. <laughs> I just feel like an overall happier person right now. So yeah, I thought it'd be nice to take you guys along and show you some of the stuff I've been enjoying recently. Oh my gosh, a little hummingbird right here. A little tiny little baby hummingbird. Oh God, no, that is a huge fucking moth. Oh, I can't tell what it is. It's either a horrific bug or an adorable bird. I'm gonna choose to believe it's an adorable bird. Oh, hi, little guy. So I just told Christy about the hummingbird that I saw. She looked it up and found that it is a moth. A hummingbird moth. It reminds you <laughs> of like SpongeBob when that scene with the butterfly. <laughs> when the butterfly gets close on his face. <laughs> wow. Look at that thing. Let me see, let me see, let me see. It's a human being. Yeah, that's a human. That's a human that's being. An actual human being. Neat. <laughs> a hawk moth. Hummingbird hawk moth. A hog moth. Tog maw. What is maw? I've got the runs. In a shocking turn of events, I've actually started running every day which is very out of character for me. I've tried to take up running several times in the past and I've always hated it. But since my wrist injury has kept me out of the gym, I was desperate enough to give it another go. And this time, I ended up enjoying it. And one of the ways I've been able to incentivize myself to actually want to run is with our sponsor, Audible. I love podcasts and audiobooks. I'm constantly listening to them, so I like to save my favorites for when I need to be productive. If there's a certain audiobook that I'm really excited about, I'll only listen to it when I run. It gives me something to look forward to and distracts me from the fact that I'm running. I already know my next running book is going to be Page Boy by Elliot Page, which I actually found browsing through Audible's Pride collection and immediately pre-ordered. And lucky for you, that'll be out by the time this video goes up, so you can listen to it right now. And if that's not your vibe, there's plenty of other content to choose from, because Audible has a huge catalog of over 500,000 titles that you can listen to across all your devices. Membership gets you a new title every month as well as full access to a library of included titles, Audible Originals, and podcasts. And they're offering new members a 30-day free trial. So click the link below, that's audible.com slash tyturner, or text tyturner to 500-500 and start listening for free right now on Audible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's my mile. Just got that done for the day. And who's that? Hey. Hi, Stinky. What are you doing? Playing in crossing. Wow. <laughs> Outside. I love enjoying nature. My pinwheel broke in the storm. My pinwheel done near broke apart in the storm. My dear little gay pinwheel over there. Okay, well, I guess that's how I talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It sounds just like me. Perfect impression. So I got a new one with sparkles, even gayer than the one before. And this one's a lesbian. <laughs> Wait, no, it's bisexual. Thanks, you're covered in dust. Give him a pat. Let's see if we can catch some of them. Ow! Dust 
Yeah, Phil, look at my fingers. Oh. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting a wipe down. Oh, he loves it. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> Clean. Yay. And now, a trip to the creek. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Holy shit. Look at me, I'm soaking. I am cold. I am shocked. Oh my god, both of my cameras are soaking wet. Dude, I just fell down this bank onto this rock, totally busted my ass, and both of my cameras went in the water. I am so glad this is working. Holy shit. I can't even dry it off with my shirt because my shirt's all wet. I don't know what to do. Okay. Well, this one's working. Neither of these are waterproof. I just have to try to get out of here is the thing. I'm in slides. And th these are slippery rocks. <laughs> oh my god, that was so stupid. I can't believe I tried to just step down here with all this shit in my hand. <gasps> oh, 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 a wind is whew, oh, burr. Okay, all right, here I go. Ugh. I made it. Look, that's, that's what I just fell down. Here's the edge. And I just fell right down into there and rolled onto my back into the water. It is not warm enough to swim. <laughs> Just a uh, heads up for anyone who might have been wondering. Well, I came down here to collect some river rocks because I'm going to do some gardening. I might as well just go ahead and do that while I'm here. <laughs> Holy shit, I just put a bunch of rocks in my pocket only to realize my phone's not in there. Hello, it's in the creek. Damn it. I caught. Come... Please. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh my. Oh God. This is such a disaster. We're getting the fuck out of here, boys. It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> oh my God. What a day. A thriving trans man. Thriving in the wild. A rugged creek man. He is one with nature. Look, a beautiful little butterfly. Hey, Krusty, you notice anything about me? Did you fall in? I did. I fell into the creek with both of my cameras in my hand and my phone went in and I didn't even realize until later. Could you help me? <laughs> so you decided to film that butterfly instead? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> priorities. Thank you. What happened? Dude, I fully rolled down that hill and fell onto my back <laughs> down that slippery ass rock. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. And I come out here, you're filming a butterfly soaking wet. Well. Got some river rocks. <laughs> this is what it's all been for. The bounty. And now we're going to do some gardening. It's nice to just have this random concrete slab in the yard. I don't know what it's for, but it's handy for activities. Hi, big guy. You ready to garden? You're covered in dust again. All right. <laughs> So when we had to flee our home in the winter, all of our plants died because we had to stay in an RV for a little bit. And it was really sad because some of those plants I had had for years. So now it's nice to see all these new plants out and I'm wanting to just fill our whole house up with plants again. Um, so we got our old pots and stuff that we're ready to fill back up and some new ones. Cute little frog. Mwah. Christy's got her gardening tools. <laughs> they're for children, but they're really cute. They're really cute. And they're handy, like you don't need anything huge for this. So, yes, I'm so excited to be gardening, honestly. My little frog plant is coming along swimmingly. Oh yeah, that fucking slaps. 
That looks so good. It looks like his hair. Juicy and now we've had a successful gardening time. Yay. We're gonna go get some lunch. That was very special, me and you. Me and you so special together. That was extremely special. I am sunning my holes. Here, I'm gonna sun my hole too. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. It's kinda nice. Wait, do it again. No. Okay. About to spare y'all from seeing that with the sensor. I got some wet, hairy butt crack. Some creek crack. Creek <laughs> crack? <laughs> Dude, I just realized I scraped up my foot, my leg. Oh no. When I fell down the creek side. My leg! My leg! <laughs> I can't believe you fell! Dude, I rolled down the side of it. It was so dramatic, too. <laughs> it slid on my back across that slippery rock. <laughs> Wait, give me a reenaction. Re reenaction. Give me a reenaction. I was like this. I had all this stuff in my hand, and I walked up to the side there, and I stepped down, and those rocks just slid out from under me, and I went boom, like this, down, and then it was like this. And then I slid down the side and I was like, and I slid on that rock and I was like, and my shit fell out of my pockets into the creek. I didn't even realize it till later till I was trying to leave and I was like, where's my phone? In the creek. <laughs> you're still wet! Ah, oh, your hands are wet! Yeah, I'm still wet. Good boy. I never dried off. It, it feels nice though. Such a good boy. I'm so sorry. Good boy. <laughs> He's gonna have something special. Good job, Tina. You want a treat? Oh, oh my gosh. yes. Oh, oh he's no, so tall. it's on your nose, baby. <laughs> Yummy. Squeezy. Wait. <laughs> he will not wait. <laughs> he doesn't want to wait for just no keep one. Going. What? You're sitting here filming this naked dick out. Yeah. And <laughs> I had to hang them up in my panties. After that, I decided to dry myself off and get cleaned up so we could take a little evening trip into the city. We're both crashing. I am off my ADHD meds today, so I'm like... I am on whoa, meds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Christy's on her meds that make her drowsy, so we're both... Uh, <laughs> She's falling asleep at the wheel. It's kind of funny. <laughs> sugar free vanilla. A brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. Wow. I'll do a grande as well. And that'll be it. Yeah, that'll be 13 20 out of the window. Thank you. Literally Thank you. the one that I wanted, but I couldn't get it because it's not sugar free. Oh my god. Mmm. This shit hit. You know, this is my... busting. There we go. Have a great awesome. night. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Oh my god. You know, you'll that's get good. banned from Starbucks if you don't say it in the correct etiquette. Just kidding. You always start with your size, iced or hot, what you want, then your substitutes. Just so y'all know. Or else you'll be real annoying. Wow. <laughs> I bet 90% of the people watching this know that because they've all worked at Starbucks. <laughs> They were lying. Where are we going, Texas Roadhead? Yeah. No. 
Longhound Steak Horn Horns. We got a gift card to the Longhound Steak Horn. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to eat there. Long snout and Snake Horn. <laughs> <laughs> the London skank whore. <laughs> I got the Texas Tunyon. This place looks like it was decorated by Buffalo Bill. Yeah. I love it. It's a long time snake too, so. There it is. Here it is. Here it is, folks. Longhorn himself. We got him. I'm full up, man. That shit was good. That's sponsored. What are you doing? What are you doing back there? Oh, we're not talking, huh? Fine, keep your secrets. Shopping! <laughs> <laughs> it is late. It's dark outside. We just got home from, uh, well, we ended up stopping at the mall and shopping for like four hours. So... Day's over. Christy was looking for a dress. I got the coolest shoes ever. For what? For our wedding. I got my wedding shoes. So it's a Halloween wedding and I'm wearing the black and white striped Beetlejuice suit. Uh, so I got the perfect shoes. I'm gonna show you right now. Oh my gosh. Check that out. I'm really jazzed. That they had these. I was originally looking at the same shoe, but with silver studs, and they didn't have them in my size, so they were looking, running all over the place. They had like three employees trying to help me get these, but she brought these out. And she's like, would these be okay? And Christy and I both gasped. We were like, oh, those are way cooler with the black studs. Yes, absolutely. And I tried them on and they fit. So look at that, red bottoms, bloody shoes. Oh, and we hit Barnes & Noble. See, we live out in the middle of nowhere, so going to a place that actually has stores where we can shop that aren't like the literal dollar store, it's a treat. So it's like an hour and a half drive, but it's worth it. I got four horror novels. They were buy one, get one half off. So this should hold me over. I just finished The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. Very good, would recommend. Oh, we also got a sewing book because we're gonna learn how to sew and make some really cool clothes. And Christy got instant Korean. She's doing an Ollie London type. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What is that? That's the. Are you insulting me? It's a me? whole long. Don't yeah. even. I don't want to know. I just know that's bad. It won't be that. It won't be that. Hi, come here. Hi. Oh, look who's inside. Come Hi, here, guys. Hi, baby. babies. Oh, well, uh hi -huh, there, big girl. Hi, Louisa, you got your little toy. Oh my gosh, you're wiggling around. Hi, babies. Oh, you want a treat? You got a surprise. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come here. Come on. Big girls. Oh my lord. See, you jumping so tall for you. Okay. There you go, Goose. Good job. Drop it. Good girl. Wow. Very special. Find the right spot. Perfect. So, yeah, we got some shopping done. And I didn't vlog it because there's always copyright music playing and a million people around and I'm just like, who wants to watch someone shop, you know? <laughs> so, just a haul. What'd you get? Garbage. Whoa. New bra! It's the next day. We got our lawnmower, we're fixing it up and getting ready to start mowing all these weeds down. Honestly, I kind of like some of the weeds. I think they're pretty, but it's getting to be a bit much.
Alrighty. Got most of the yard mode, but now I'm gonna pass it off to Christy because I'm having a hard time driving. Never got my license. No, I'm just kidding. My wrist. My wrist! Uh oh. Somebody doesn't like the lawn being mowed. Hi, big guy. You ready to go inside? Okay. Here's. Christy thinks she's riding a go-kart right now. <laughs> she's limping that shit around. <laughs> Little update on my wound from falling in the creek. <laughs> it's fine. Which, I never even said this, I never even told you guys what's going on here, but the creek is literally in our backyard. Creek. So we're gonna be able to swim. Now that the weather's warming up, I am so excited. I love swimming. I haven't had top surgery yet, so I don't get to swim in public often. And when I do, I'm usually like trying to cover up. But here I can be a free man, a thriving man. So we'll be trying to soak it all up and have as much fun here as we can this summer because after the wedding, the plan is still to try to make the big move to New Mexico. So this is a temporary stay, uh, which is why you'll probably see in the background a lot of boxes and random shit because we're not fully unpacking, though we are trying to go through our stuff and uh, sort it out and get it all ready for the big move. And on that note, we're actually going to my grandparents' house for dinner tonight. And we've been storing stuff over there. And so when we can, we'll go and get stuff, bring it back over here, try to go through it, sort it out. But my wrist injury put everything in my life on pause. Like I couldn't even drive. I couldn't open doors by myself or cook for myself. So it's been a minute since we've been able to, well, since I've been able to do anything. So it'll be nice to be able to actually go over there and get stuff again and uh, get back on track with everything. After spending some time admiring the cat and then eating my lunch while standing in the middle of the kitchen, apparently, we washed our cars. Then we washed ourselves and got ready for dinner with the family. Look at her! Look at me! Beauty queen! Very pretty. Look What's at you, up? Mr. Handsome. And we need to make a quick stop if you don't mind. Where? Yup, it's that time of year again where I try to pick skateboarding back up even though I haven't really skated in about 12 years. Christy painted her nails and I decided to just keep it simple and try to go for an axle stall. Try I did, but I just wasn't getting it. Wow, baby. Best seat in the house. It's because there's shade. <laughs> also, I picked these colors on purpose. Oh yeah, what's that? It's blue, pink, and white, my skin, for the trans flag. <laughs> <laughs> Your skin is the white. Yeah. I love it. And that bit of motivation from Christy was all I needed to give it another go, and I finally got it. Or, you know, close enough. I was happy with it. Got it. Happy Easter. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the weekend I was vlogging also happened to be Easter. I didn't plan it that way, but it worked out. And even though I don't believe in the Easter Bunny, I'm always down to get together with the family and have a nice dinner. This is my Nana. Happy Easter. How's your Easter? Sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> nice to see you. You look so pretty, Dan. Thank you. 
We're 76 so this month. 76 <laughs> this month. Here she goes. Look how much you like me. I love you. I love Aww. you, pal. <laughs> oh. What's this? I spy with my wife. Hey, somebody got some Easter Bunny. Left some baskets here. Really? Looks yeah. like the Easter Bunny came for someone. What about these Easter baskets? Nana prepared. No, the Easter Bunny brought them. She said the Easter Bunny brought them. For who? Who's that? Who's so it for? Surprise for the kids. That's for the too. kids. All right, I'll take it. Thank you. Ooh. Nana, Papa, we got you a card. That's so Pat nice. Nana. Oh, Nana opens all the mail. Nana, you open all the mail. Okay. Hand delivered. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how cute. Yeah, yeah. Look at that closely. See if you can recognize what that is. That's your hairy toe. That's my hairy toe. <laughs> <laughs> From my grandson. Who's thumbs? Who's who's toenail? That's Ty's hairy toe. That's my hairy toe. I took that picture a couple years ago, and she kept it off my Instagram. <laughs> And then I drew it in the card that I gave you guys because she always <laughs> liked that photo. I've followed it up. I've updated it for this year. I took another photo of my hairy toe. <laughs> Are they frostbitten? <laughs> no, I just got done mowing. I was wearing sandals. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Easter's on its way. <laughs> Bring in all those toys and shit. For all the girls <laughs> and boys. And shit. <laughs> My aunt and uncle are running late, so Papa wants us to play a prank on them and act like we have to leave. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Here's my uncle David. What's up? Happy Easter. Easter. Oh. Happy Easter, David. Happy Easter. Oh my gosh, I love your ears. Can I look like an Easter bunny? Oh, <laughs> I'm glad we got to see you. We're heading out. When? Right now? At 8. Yeah, we what told Anna we had to go at 8. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> Easter fools! Easter fools! <laughs> it was Papa's idea. Hook, line, Papa. and sinker. Yeah, I say. Was Joe and Angie there? Oh, they didn't play the music? Who? Yeah, it was a different choir. <laughs> so I think they were Catherine, was Joe and Angie there? Yeah. Joe, Mama, Angie, Daddy. Make <laughs> sure you don't burn your mouth. Ooh, what do you got? Try some of that cream corn cheese. Corn. Cream. You like it? That's so good. It's mostly cream cheese. Oh my God. It's cream cheese with a little corn. <laughs> it's delicious. It's your favorite. Do I them? Yeah. She's got a tall boy diet coat. Is that your big toe? You know what that is? Your yeah. big toe. That hairy Easter toe. <laughs> yeah. As simple as a family dinner might seem to the average person, for me it's actually a pretty big deal. Because my grandparents, my aunt and uncle, they raised me just as much as my parents did. And I've always been very close to them. But I'm the only queer person in my Southern Christian family. So as a teenager, when I was coming to terms with my identity and not being a straight cis girl, I genuinely never thought I would be able to have this. To come to dinner with a beard and my fiancé, who's a girl, it's mind-blowing. Mm. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little bit ripe. <laughs> Another successful Easter. After dinner, we grab some more of our stuff from storage that we'll continue to sort through as we get ready for what comes next. This is some of our storage stuff. <laughs> we still have a whole other room and an actual storage unit with stuff in it from our house. Slowly but surely, we're getting through it. Oh my gosh, You're a peep monster in the woods. Peeping on the tarp. There you go. Did you like the sound? We did, yeah. Anytime. 
I'm very grateful to be where I am, to have the love and support of everyone in my life, and to have been able to transition when I was 16. It was absolutely the best decision I've ever made, and now, 10 years later, I'm living the life that I never thought I could have. If you're a trans person right now, feeling the weight of all of this uncertainty, and feeling scared for your future, just know that there is so much to look forward to. You have a full, wonderful life ahead of you, and we're out here thriving. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.